I'll take you there with my power. Okay, I don't even remember what's in this cave, but it's nothing good. And again, in Hyrule, there's always something good in the cave. And even if the cave is just full of fucking horny nematodes, like you get a little bit of experience for fighting them. And if there's an orange fucking Scotty Terrier man in here. John just... Okay. Now let's think. Yorkies are the little brown dogs that usually have like black on their back. Scotties are the little black ones and Westies are the little white ones? Whew. Them United Kingdom dogs are real confusing. Just like the whole country. Wales? Does Wales get a dog? It does. Do both Northern and Southern Ireland get a little dog named after them? Or else it's not fair. Oh, good lord. No, not in the swamp. God damn it. Uh, fucking birds. Link's always had a problem with fucking birds, son. We ain't even got to that part of the Breath of the Wild yet, but it's coming. Now, these things are infinite and give experience. If we really wanted to stay here, Min Max, son, you could get you a turbo controller. You could, you could, if you wanted to, it's like the Leet River in Final Fantasy VI. If you wanted to, oh no, sometimes Miyamoto himself appears and makes one spawn behind you. I gotta get to the road. Okay. They make it more and more stressful to move about the world in this game. And this is one of the instances of it. Alright, so the difference is, because it wasn't a Gangle Man sprite, um, we've only got to deal with Octorots. There's no hateful birds that spawn from the heavens. Please let me get to that little patch of ground. And as he found no spot of ground that looked like El Dorado. Okay. Now you look like the kind of statue what has a full magic jar in you. And not an ornery red man. Thank you. <laughs> boom. And boom. See, look at our survivability's in the fucking corner. I want to leave it on shield because the pressing start brings up this menu, but pressing select casts a spell, and there's always a chance I'll randomly hit it, so I want to waste as little MP as possible. Also, I could just cast shield when I wanted to. Fuck you. I'm a grown ass man. Cast whatever hell of magic I want. Mom. She's like, honey, you've got to save your mana up for when you need a healing spell. I'm like, Ma, I want my tunic to be a cool red color. Ma, I want to take half damage. God. Speaking of which, boom, boom. Every time you see a blue one, always... We're at the point where our shield spell takes one square, and the blue urn gives us at least one square. Skeletons have weak knees. That sounds like something a, a villager in Castlevania 2 would say. Oh no, dragon heads. This is my problem. It's like the devil from that Rick and Morty episode. I went in there and wished to get all the dragon head I could. And now I've got infinite dragon heads coming at me. In the middle of the night. God. I come in every morning to work. I'm so fucking haggard and tired. And they're like, man, what happened to you? I'm like, man, I was getting fucking dragon head all night. Couldn't fucking sleep. Well, you things are real resilient. 20 experience. Hot damn. And we can cast a shield spell. Boom. All right. We need to get the parabola. Is this the problem? Once again, if they moved about, you know, more tangentially, would be all right. But it's this fucking x equals y axis nonsense they keep pulling, son. All right, cool. We're gonna get a fucking sweet forty experience from that. Of course, we can't stay here and do it all day. I need twelve hundred for the next level. I'm, it's not even ironic that I, I'm like, oh, I can't do this, and then I sit here and do it. I can't fucking help myself. I'm a grinder. I'm a grinder! The first step is admitting it. Look, if we keep killing these blue blobs, they'll eventually drop more magic jars, and that's how you farm up your heals. No, blue... No, oh, blue slime Yamate! Oh, he Yamate? Well, I, I'm not used to that happening. Now, <laughs> the same 80s, 90s hentai I was talking about earlier taught me that when a girl yells Yamate, you never Yamate, not when you're some sort of fucking hentai monster. The word Yamate doesn't appear in your, in your vocabulary. Uh, I think, uh, for those of you who aren't huge fucking weebs, 
I, I believe the phrase Yamate is yelled when you're telling somebody to stop. It doesn't always have to be, please stop from violating all the orifices of my body with your tentacle appendages, but it usually is. Man, I'm just real bad at predicting these things fucking movement. I'm actually trying to fight my way for... Wait, I don't need to fight for it. I'm missing a key. To quote the Paladin from Dark Souls 2, I need a key. How many of y'all have watched OMG Paladin? That's a fucking old Tenfei video. That was Sean DeRusse's favorite Tenfei video, if that means anything to you. And if you're a long-time Tenfei True Believer, it should mean a little bit. I wanted to crouch to block his fireball, but I was on an elevator. And you can't crouch on an elevator. It's one of them old-timey rules. It's like how ladies could... When they built the Washington Monument, which is that big fucking obelisk that just stands in the middle of Washington, D.C. for some reason. Because George Washington thought this shit was fucking tight. Um... It had like a rickety old elevator and it took like fucking 15 minutes to get to the top of it. And back in the olden times, you had your elevator operator. Just think of Droopy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. He's like, your floor, sir. Watch this damn, sir. But, uh... So you had an elevator operator where the elevator could only fit one other person. And the problem is, a lady, you, you couldn't have a, a lady in a, a little elevator like that with a man that wasn't her husband for that long. My God. What if baby Jesus found out, boys? He wouldn't be happy. God would be like, I just got baby Jesus to sleep and y'all had to fucking be near each other <laughs> in an elevator. Oh, fucking. Me fucking damn it. So, only men could ride up the elevator. Check Snopes. Because that's one of those things I've heard my whole life. And it might not even be true. Did Drunk History do a video on it? It's the only news source I trust. Do, 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 do. You know what somebody on YouTube should do? They should, like, rip off Drunk History and get drunk and describe the plot to video games. But I bet nobody would watch that. Not even ironically. If these skeletons wore knee pads, we'd be ruined. If they were the skeletons of footballers, if it was a skeleton of Zidane, not only would he headbutt us and we'd explode into dust, but then he'd go trance and use Grand Lethal. You can't expect me to make a Zidane joke and not reference Final Fantasy IX. It's just not done. I've got caught up in stabbing bubbles again. I'm back to being Jojo Jojo, Mojo Jojo in uh, therapy. The therapist is like, ah, oh, what's this? You're back to stabbing bubbles. I thought we'd move past this. And Bubbles, she's like a Powerpuff girl. You could probably stab her and she wouldn't give a shit. She's just trying to help her quote unquote friend out. Did y'all remember the Powerpuff girls? <laughs> Is Hot Diggity Demon watching? That thing spews fucking hate magic all the time. The worst kind of dragon head. Hate magic spewing. Okay. I see hammers. Which means there's one of these fucking hammer bro cyclops things. What are they supposed to be? It's some kind of vaguely... I get like a bull-esque vibe from it. How come all of Ganon's minions are fucking anthro animals? What kind of message is Miyamoto trying to promote, huh? The final boss of the game is just Disney's Robin Hood and you have to set him on fire. <laughs> well, everyone on 4chan fucking just replies with base. And Miyamoto's like, yeah, he just leans back like that little kid with the mullet in front of the computer and just gives you a thumb up and it just says Miyamoto in cursive text. There's too many slimes on these stairs. I'm only stabbing them because I want a magic pot. Magic pots are enemies that appear frequently, or somewhat frequently, in the Final Fantasy series. And they're usually notable for the fact that they're nigh unkillable, but they give a shitload of whatever that game's like level up uh, like currency is. Like ability points and a lot of times they demand elixirs I know they're in five uh, they're in six I think they're in the fanatics tower 
But I don't believe, I believe they're just an enemy. Although in the Fanatics Tower you can only cast magic. Unless you bring Umero because he's a fucking Sasquatch and he don't give a shit. You gonna tell a Sasquatch, uh, excuse me sir, but we don't resort to physical violence here in the Fanatics Tower. We're a civilized bunch who worship Kefka, the maniacal clown man what holds us all in his grip of terror with his godlike reign over the force of magic. So, uh, could you cast spells? Amero would just pick that man up and throw him off the tower and he would land in Kefka's tower. I think all 10 fate videos from this point forward should just be me referencing Final Fantasy VI. And we'll sprinkle a little Final Fantasy IX in there just because they're like the same number turned upside down. Now these blocks don't cl uh, clumps, I was about to say, collapse. I think I was combining the word collapse and like drop. That's where I got clumps. What I'm saying is I'm too smart. They say if you mangle your words together all the time, it's because you're too smart for how fast you talk. Now I don't know if we could apply that to the Tenfei channel. But it would make me feel a little less shitty if we could. Can At least we could all lie together. Okay, I would love to just keep saving up for that next attack. And I have all my lives. And I've got healing magic. Oh, good God, it's one of these fucking ones that never calms down. The, like, scrolling edge of the screen becomes a barrier to them. They're like a, a fighting game character. We gotta get them in the corner and juggle them, son. Burn meter. Son, wake up. There we go. It's like a Street Fighter 4. When you play as Cody in Street Fighter 4, all you do is you try to get that knife in your hand. And when you do, crouch and fucking light jab. And, like, the crowd always block it, but they, like, don't realize that you take chip damage <laughs> when you block Cody's knife. Son, I call it going aboard them like neck veins. I know it's very original for the Tenfei channel. <laughs> why are you so hard to hit? Well, I mean, I know why. I'm doing that thing characters do in fictional media when they're fighting the hero and the hero's like real cool and dodging all their attacks and they just yell stand still it's like uh why would he do that i, I was literally that guy oh boy i must have been real good i must have put some fucking vegetables on me because i got the good dragon head boys you'd think eventually even i would get tired of making jokes about dragon head but i don't I like to think at least one of y'all <laughs> thinks that joke's on the up and up. They're like, yeah, he's talking about the head of a dragon. What else could dragon head me? Okay. These fucking things are just so satisfying to stab again. Whew. <laughs> fucking, why are you out? My god, there's no end to them. So, all of your stats cap at 8, I believe. And then after that, uh, you just have a permanent 9,000 next. And whenever you reach it, you get an extra man's. This game's actually really limited on how many extra lives you can get. Because there's these little Link dolls you can find that give you a 1-up. Which I appreciate that they're like a thing that's like a Link doll. They're not just Link's severed head like in most video games. Well, ain't you just an advanced skeleton? You've watched me kill all your brethren by stabbing their fucking bony knees. And so he learned an advanced jumping technique. I would love to level my life up. But I need to get more powerful first. Level your life up sounds like a, one, a recruitment ad that the Marines would do. Are y'all familiar with... Oh, I've got to get the glove that lets me cut blocks. Luckily, I believe it's in this dungeon. But do y'all remember uh, Marine recruitment ads? It would be like a guy on a mountain in like a fucking sweatshirt and sweatpants. And he looks so put of fun. And then like a dragon attacks him. And he's like, oh God, a fucking dragon. <laughs> I thought this was modern times based on my attire. And he has the greatest fucking actions fighting that thing and putting it in the full Nelson sun. And then at the very end, like once he's wrung its neck and killed it, like lightning strikes him. And then all of a sudden he's in military dress uniform with a saber. 
And it's like the few, the proud the Marines. I, I would imagine if I was him, I'd be like, uh, excuse me, could I have not got the magic fucking sword powers that apparently you get when you join the Marines before I fought that dragon? Now, I have no magic glove, which means I can't stand my way through these blocks. And it's a real fucking shame. Um, This is the dungeon where the magic club is, right? I don't know. I don't know Zelda 2 as well as Zelda 1, and certainly not as well as Link to the Past, which I imagine the entire time I've been playing this, you've been weeping openly into your hands and, <laughs> and asking why I'm not playing Link to the Past. Uh, now, we've been all over the place. And, okay, this is where... Uh, maybe they're on the other side of these blocks, and we've just got to get through them real quick before they have a chance. Yeah, I think that's it. I, mean, I always grab a pee bag. Even if a fuck of concrete blocks fall and fall on your head, you grab a pee bag. Your foreman comes running over at a job site, and he's like, What the hell are you doing? I yelled, heads up, that a concrete block was falling, and you fucking dove. You're like, I had to do it, chief. I had to get the pee bag. That was a, an advanced knight we just killed, and this is his good friend. Additional advanced knight. Now, the most advanced and most annoying of the knights are the blue ones, because they throw their sword at you. Alright, we got level 5 sword power. Super glove! He was real happy to have that. Remember life magic? I do. I'm like Pepperidge Farms. I always remember. Jump at me, bro. If you're real tenacious, you can sit here, because every now and then a blue drop will fall and it becomes a slime. And you can kill it. And every so many you kill, you get one of those uh, magic uh, retainers, I think they're called. Which sounds disgusting. Or you get a pee bag. <laughs> one in five gets a pee bag. It's like uh, doing the Monopoly game or something. Son. McDonald's and Hyrule, they, they do their super popular magic retainer promotion. And of course it's rigged. Fucking the, the sages always win it. The sages and their family somehow always get the winning pieces. Uh-huh. That's not real rigged. Alright, now that we've got the glove. And we're so bad. Now that Lucas will respect us for getting 50,000 in Double Dragon. We can go down here and fucking take care of business. Even though I could move myself freely about the Y-axis, it, it didn't matter. No, stop at the Y-axis! I'm gonna die because of math. Son, Parker tried to warn me. He's the stand-up math guy, by the way. I remember that his last name's Parker. Well, this is just the final boss fight from Super Mario World all of a sudden. Ha! Huh? Okay, guys, don't spew a bunch of... I didn't even get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> well, that's like a... Uh... It's not a dragon. It looks like a like a panther or something. No, I'm not gonna make jokes about panther head. Good God. Unless y'all ask real nice. Okay. So skeletons have learned that I'm too fucking good at the game for them. Their nonsense to get me. So they've got to do all these elaborate death traps and jumping attacks. It's such dishonor. Maybe this is where. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Game theory time for the people that love the fucking Zelda timeline and shit. This is where Link learned the jump slash, and then when he became a skeleton in Twilight Princess and teaches it, <laughs> he learned it from these skeletons. This is where you're like, uh, the, the hero shade in Twilight Princess is, is, is clearly a uh, hero of time, Ocarina of Time Link, who got lost in the woods and became a Stalfos because of one piece of throwaway flavor text in Ocarina of Time that I've based my entire life around. Boys, I give those people a lot of shit, but they're just having fun in their own way. I don't mean nothing by it. I just like being a grumpy old man. Son, I just like to yell about when video games are good. Don't think nothing of it. Uh, to, to continue the analogy, I'm your old crazy uncle that you just kind of tolerate. You're like, uh-huh. I'm in there ranting about how they're turning the fucking nematodes gay. They're dumping a blue potion in the fucking <laughs> rivers. And you're like, mm-hmm. 
No, that blue slime approaches. Enter thy command. My command is gonna, I'm gonna turn around. He doesn't know that I know that he's there, and he thinks he's real fucking cool. What are your sub pixels misaligned, buddy? You fucking stopped for a solid minute. Let's farm up a magic retainer. Then let's cast Waifu. For Waifu. Waifu? Waifu for Waifu. If you're gonna have a Waifu, she's gotta be for Waifu, son. It's the only acceptable kind of. What would baby Jesus find out if he found out you were cheating on your wife, eh? Boy, he just calmed down from... What was he? Oh, he just calmed down from finding out that a lady went up the elevator in the Washington Monument. And now he found out that you've, you've taken on a second wife, eh? Well, if he's Mormon, baby Jesus, you'll be alright. If he's baby Joseph Smith, you're set. Uh, could I have a red full heel? Fine, idiot. I love having slightly more than half of my magic capacity. I just think it's real neat. I'm like that crazy bat in Link to the Past who thinks he curses you by halving your magic consumption. Boys, Link to the Past is a good game. I bet all the cool <laughs> YouTube Let's Players play Link to the Past all the time. God damn it, calm down. Whew. Look at this. See, this is what happens when you're a huge asshole. You get stuck in the loading scene. So now that guy that does those super in-depth videos about how, like, Super Nintendo memory mappers work and how miss the missing no glitch works. It's gonna have to do a whole fucking separate video about you getting hung in the corner there. If that guy ever watches this video, please do that just for me. A special fan request. Considering I couldn't remember the actual name of your channel at the time, <laughs> I'm sure you're real fucking impressed. <sighs> he knew that I had to have it. Son, it was like a copy of Little Samson sitting there. I had to have it. I meant to take time to appraise his appearance and deem whether or not he was worthy of being killed. But I didn't. Ooh, I want that pee bag. All right, we've got to use advanced pee bag acquisition tactics because we need to make all these platforms disappear. And then when we get to the bottom, we need to... Okay, when we make the middle platform disappear, we need to jump... And then as we land, we need to crouch, stab the pee bag, and immediately jump to the right. It's so simple, a child could do it. Son. If little Elijah Wood from Back to the Future 2 is watching. No, little Elijah Wood, look away. Look away. Whew. Well, there's a red knight down here. And now he's gone. Well, thank you, red knight, Dino. Okay, here's what we gotta do. Stab, cast life, boom. Good God, that was a hearty refill. We're so much more sustainable now. This game's, the, the only difficult part of this game is the beginning before you have the life spell. Okay, yes, you're real cool. You're the king of skeletons, son. You're the Michael Jordan of skeletons. You're going to go to the Big Rock Tournament in Moorhead City and leave a $10,000 tip that nobody will shut the fuck up about. But I don't give a shit. It was at Floyd's restaurant, by the way, in case any of y'all want to look that up. I've never eaten at Floyd's because I'm not a ding batter. Okay. Well, we're at the fucking boss. I was so busy yelling at Michael Jordan that I forgot that we were good at the game. Okay, we're tough. Hmm. If he gives us at least 475 experience, well, like, we'll do a real good job of minting and maxing our gains. And if he doesn't, we could always backtrack. And <laughs> Minimax like, okay, he's not, he doesn't have a horse head, so he's not quite as dangerous, but he does other things. Resistance might actually work on him, since he's not a horse man. Also, you can just knock his fucking head off, and then he grows another one. Don't have your disembodied heads fly around him. What are you, blind the thief? The much better Zelda boss from the much better Zelda game? He's got like a pumpkin head. He's like a monster party enemy. That weren't near, near enough. Nope, I won't do it. I won't squander. It's not min-maxing to not want to waste what is potentially hundreds, if not thousands of experience points, kids. I'm sure you all agree that it's the correct thing to do. To go back and farm, uh, we're going to kill Bubbles or Dragon Head. We're either going to have to get way too much dragon head or no dragon head at all. There's no middle ground. Ooh, I want that pee bag. No, I forgot to cast a jump spell. Shit. 
Okay, we still got lives. We're fine. I can't die again. Just don't die again. If we die, we have to come all the way back here. I don't know if we get to kill the boss again or if we walk all the way back here and then just walk to the final room and just put the crystal in the slot. Just insert in the crystal slot. I think I'm phrasing that wrong. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. That pee bag's fucking dangerous, so we're gonna leave it be. <laughs> we're gonna leave it pee. I mean, it's not hard to get or anything, it's just I don't want to. <laughs> Vodka. It's not like I like getting free experience from a pee bag or anything. Vodka. Alright, y'all. Ducks in a barrel, son. Ducks in a barrel! Oh, thank the Lord Jesus that I was able to hit your hitbox in time to also get you caught in this pattern. We only got to kill a couple of these things and then we can move on. And look! We'll get us some magic retainers. As someone who never had to have braces or a retainer, I can only imagine how big a pain in the ass it must be. Son, I feel for you. Ha! Parabolas are no longer a mystery to me. The unit circle has been laid bare before me. So how y'all been doing? You want to talk about more anime while I'm in maxing? I watched an anime. Boys, it was right interesting. It was an original anime, I believe. It wasn't based on no book or light novel or nothing. And it was called Decadence. And it was like... I don't know how to describe it. It's got like a twist. So if you want to experience it fresh, I'd say pause this video right here and just go watch that. It's only 12 episodes. That's like roughly 22 minutes an episode. And if you skip the intro, you don't even got to watch that much. Oh, God damn it! We've got to get to 1500 before we can properly min-max. But that's not that many. Uh, anyway, Decadence is cool. Uh, let's see. My favorite character in Decadence. Whew, boys, it's going to be hard to beat the boss, Kathy. God bless his heart. He's just a little feller. Spoilers. I won't go into any more detail. But it's not a bad anime. There you go. Uncle Tenfei's Old Fashioned Anime Corner. If it didn't require so much editing, I would make some sort of anime videos. And be like, here's some anime you could watch. Top 10 anime to play with your dick while you're watching. <laughs> Numbers 1 through 10, Ishizoku Reviewers. Nah, there's some other animes you can beat off to. Like, I'm not so uncouth as to say Ishizoku Reviewers is the only proper beat off anime. But it is a fine choice. Thank you, Slime Chan. Arigato, Slime Chan. What's the opposite of Yamate? Tamaye? Okay. Does Tamaye. What could Tamaye mean in Japanese? Tama. Tama, what does that mean? I've heard that word before. Hmm. I don't know. My my weeb, <laughs> my weebness is failing. You might not know this, but I'm one of them fake internet weebs you read about. So I'm like, have you guys seen both anime, Naruto and Bleach? Yes, sir. He's a bouncer. He's a bouncing boy. <laughs> we'll get him eventually. Here we go. Step up to the plate. Alright, this should get us our next optional level. And then we'll say no. And then as long as we can make it to the room where we put the crystal. The long, as long as we can make it to the room where we put it in crystal. Then we'll get that full level up. You knew I was workshopping it the whole time. I was workshopping a fucking crystal joke. Boys, this is better on particularly horny Tenfei playthrough. <laughs> You're like, I can't tell the difference. Okay. The pee bag is death, so we're not going to bother. Alright. 
if my friend Tommy were here watching me play, boys would I be, <laughs> be giving shit for not getting that pee bag. I wanted to originally do this playthrough with Tommy since we did the first Zelda together, but he's real busy. I mean, World of Warcraft, <laughs> Final Fantasy. He was playing Final Fantasy XI the other day. I was shocked. I fainted. When I woke up, I thought it was 2003 because I could hear the Final Fantasy. I could hear the music of Juno in the background. Boom. And there you go. It's just that easy. And now that crystal's been properly satiated, we can get our... Boom! Our next sword upgrade. I think we're doing a fairly decent job of min-maxing. I have to know if you become an angry man or not. He didn't. He became nothing. So I guess they either have a chance to do nothing, give you a red uh, magic thing, retainer, or become an ornery man. Ornery man dinners. Well, the maker's a hungry man. Are you angry that you're having to eat a frozen microwave dinner? Then eat an ornery man. Boys, I really thought by this point, like everybody was going on in 2015 when it was Back to the Future 2 day. Everybody was like, oh, I wanted a fucking hoverboard. I'm like, well, you idiot, you'd break your fucking neck on a hoverboard. What you want is the thing that you put a little Pizza Hut pizza in and it gets real big. That was the most important discovery in that fucking whole movie. And we'll never have it. Boom. All right, what are we doing? I don't think we've missed anything so far. Oh, when you walk over the spot where that rock was, it counts as a tile of desert. So it makes the enemies get real mad. Okay. The up thrust or the down thrust is available in this town, I do believe. Harbor town of Mida. Well, he's not a sage. He just sounds like a huge asshole. <laughs> that won't let you advance the game until you get a sword and shield. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I am too. Did I fucking like waste of breath on you? No one is here to talk to you. No one is here but a church bell will ring. Okay. Yay, how you doing? Doll face. Well, look at this big old empty house. Well, what are you doing here? Other than stick your thumb in a pie all day. Ask error of Rudo about the palace. No. Error of Rudo. It's like the sequel to Ocarina of Time. Son. Okay, we need to get up there. And to get up there, I believe we can just jump. We might as well. Van Halen's watching, son. They've already liked the video. Do, 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 do. I can't believe there's anyone who watches 10 Fate video that's never listened to at least the chorus of Jump by Van Halen. When you jump, press downward to stab. He basically told Link that, like, when you're in the air, you can point your sword downward. Boys, we've become powerful. I think this game would be genuinely better if you just started with the down thrust and the up thrust. I don't see why they've got to be gated like this. Welcome to game design. I'm Tenfei. I'm a man with a, a vaguely, some sort of vague accent, and welcome to Game Maker's Toolkit. Okay. Oh, I want to know what that little feller was all about, son. He was walking with such moxie and pizzazz. He was like the little chicken hawk from the Foghorn Leghorn cartoons, son. Here we go. What do you got to say, little feller? The island palace in the south has a raft. Now, how does he know that? Something's odd. He's like the, the little girl cut out holding like the physics books that Will Smith shoots in Men in Black. Well, you look like the kind of lady what has a quest. Please, my daughter is sick. Help her. Okay. Oh, you need the water of life, don't you? I believe that might be in the graveyard. Well, I, lo I love when you play old video games from the 80s because you get to talk about them like you're a character in a sitcom. Who's like, oh, I've got to get, I've got to fight the skeleton mage on level 12 with the ice sword. Normally you roll your eyes at that shit, but in this game you got to find the water of life in the cemetery. I believe it's south of King's Tomb. Now when you get attacked in a cemetery, fucking eyeballs come after you. It's not good. Alright, this should be King's Tomb. I guess I won't read it. What do you got to say, lady? This is King's Tomb. I already knew that. 
idiot. South of King's Tomb, you fall down a pit. Oh, I had the down thrust. They didn't expect it. Advanced techniques. Behold. Life. It might have been a waste, but I don't think it was. I need fairy magic to get through here. That's right. I believe if we find the thing that'll heal that lady's daughter, she'll give us uh, fairy magic. Well, these guys do give 10 experience each, but they're also a huge fucking pain in the ass to fight. What a trade-off. Alright, I gotta go back to town and start asking some hard-hitting questions, son. I, got, I softballed that crowd last time. I was like, tell me about your new book. See any good movies? Now I'm gonna go in there and be like, uh, why don't we read some of these tweets <laughs> you made the other night when, <laughs> when you were on Ambien. Okay, here we are. I ain't taking no for a fucking answer. If there's a house, I want to be inside of it. I'm like a cat. I hate all closed doors. Alright, doll face. HP, I need it. And you've got dick grabbing hands. I believe we can work together. <laughs> we can work together to solve this conundrum. Gee whiz. What do you got to say? Sorry. I know nothing. God damn it, Schultz. Do y'all remember Hogan's Heroes? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Let me talk to your twin sister. Hello. Well, she's very similar. <laughs> In bitchiness. Fine. Town full of fucking airheaded women. Now this little feller knows about the raft, but he ain't no nary bit of help. Well, we got the down thrust. Are you still somebody who don't know nothing? Yeah, okay. How about you, uh, Grandma Sama? Hello. Yeah. Oh, good God. I do need magic restored. So let's do that real quick. Boom. Okay. Okay, you want us to help your daughter because she's sick. I can cast life magic, but I don't believe I can cast it on the NPC. Am I allowed to walk in your house at any point? I, I don't until I get that quest item. Yeah, I don't think I can. Does anyone know? I might not even be remembering this quest correctly, but I vaguely recall that it's something along these lines. Find magic in a cave and. Morug Swamp. I'm gonna assume that's where I was earlier. No, fat man, come back. He had the secrets. I know that chubby man. He was fit to burst with lore. I am much too busy. Yes, I forgot. He's on his way to the asshole of the year convention because he's a fucking shoe-in to win that shit. Uh, does anyone remember Zelda 2? Is there something else hidden in the graveyard? Boys, I'm having a genuine, like, late 80s, early 90s video game I mean, I need Nintendo power. I need to stop this recording session because it's two hours. And then with my luck, the file will be corrupted or too big or I'll be too lazy to edit it. Boys, I already know that I'm going to get such stern condescension from y'all for starting another series. But I just wanted to play a video game. And I just wanted to be good friends. Good God. I know y'all hold me to the highest standards, but good gracious, y'all cut me a little bit of slack. Boys, <laughs> <laughs> and I put y'all through something. 